Hello there, Chris here from How to Start Your Own Lawn Care Business. Today I'm going to talk about the do's and don'ts of owning a lawn care business. We're going to help you avoid costly mistakes if you're starting your own lawn care business. Now before we get into that, just want to let you know there's a free e-course. It's packed with tips and secrets. It sends it directly to your email. Go to our website, startyourownlawncarebusiness.com if you're serious about starting your own lawn care business. All right, the do's of owning a lawn care business. First, you need to wear an appropriate and professional uniform at every job. Go above and beyond for your customers to help increase and maintain business. You should regularly maintain your equipment to help save time and money. Hire responsible employees that are on time and devoted to your company. Put safety first with gloves, goggles, and earplugs. Take a step to bid on commercial business projects and approach companies about being their lawn care company. Now, what you need to know is that you need to collect payments from residential customers and businesses when the job is finished. Especially in a down economy, one of the worst things you can do is allow people to wait to pay for your services. Remember, you have bills today to pay and a family to support as well. Always, always, always collect payment upon finishing a job. If a client is not home, they can leave it for you in the garage or mailbox or somewhere else. Make your employees feel valuable with bonuses and incentives. Hire an accountant to manage your books to ensure everything is always in order. Some business owners do this task by themselves, but it is easy to let it fall by the wayside with your busy schedule. Leave the stress to someone else. It is worth the money. Trust me. Now the do nots of owning a lawn care business. Do not ever work without a contract. Even residential customers can fall victim to financial problems and leave you hanging for hundreds of dollars of work. You will have no chance to recuperate that money if you do not have a contract that can be taken to court. Now never take advantage of your customers. Always be fair because customers talk, especially in neighborhoods. With any business, it is better to charge a moderate price and offer great services so that your clients will be happy and refer you to other clients than it is to be focused on earning money and overcharging customers and leaving them feel ripped off. Now schedule more clients than you have time for. Don't do that. If you do not have the equipment or staff to handle more customers, then wait until you do. You don't want to develop a bad reputation in your area because there's really you know, only a certain mileage radius you have. If you develop a bad reputation, you're pretty much screwed unless you move somewhere else. Do not be afraid to raise the price of your services as the cost of goods increase. In 1980, you can mow a lawn for $5 and that was no problem. Today that barely buys a gallon of gas for your mower. Never use your cell phone as a business phone. While the appeal is there to have customers be able to reach you right away, answering your cell phone during your working hours will cause you to lose money. Set aside specific hours each day for returning phone calls and emails to clients. Now get more free tips and secrets on how to really profit from starting your own lawn care business at www.startyourownlawncarebusiness.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.